Hello people, I wanted to create a video on how to create subtitles and uh, the program I'm going to use to do this is called Subtitle Workshop. Uh, the latest version I believe is Subtitle Workshop 6B and this is a free program you can download from subworkshop.sourceforge.net forward slash download php okay so you're gonna go here you're gonna pick up the version you want in this case will be download subtitle workshop installer and you're gonna go ahead and install it into your computer if you don't already have it so that's the first step once you get that you're gonna go into subtitle workshop itself and this is what the main screen looks like um, make sure go uh, to this tab right here movie make sure you have checked show subtitles and also video renderer you have VMR9 okay if you don't if you cannot see the video this is the reason why here you don't have this checked VMR9 if you cannot see the subtitles this is the reason why you don't have this checked. So before everything, you make sure you got those checked. Next thing you're gonna do is to load the movie. So we're gonna go into desktop, sample project. This is where I got the file. I'm gonna open it. And this is the movie or the clip I want to um, in the beginning, put subtitles in. in the Next, we are going to go ahead and click on File, New Subtitle. Click on Save first so you can save as you go and you don't lose what you have already put on there. You have many choices. You can select if you want all formats. Uh, and the one we are going to use is subrip so we're going to double click on it it's going to give you a text file with extension of srt and we're going to name this sample once you do that you can begin and put your first line of text so normally i keep a document like this and I select what I really want to put per subtitle each subtitle line so it's a lot easier rather than going in into typing if you type you just basically type it right there in this box here do not hit enter because if you hit enter at any point you know if you want to format it and hit enter it's gonna create problems sometimes you end up with three lines or sometimes you end up with funny things that you don't want the subtitle so basically just copy and paste or type all the way I try not to go over 100 characters more or less and that's um, that's about the limit 100 110 if you just want to do no more than two lines of subtitles so now you're gonna play your movie and you're gonna select the set the show time and once you complete uh, or once you decide where you want to stop it you click on set high time so that's gonna show the text for the um, subtitle and here it's gonna hide the text for the subtitle so we play the mo uh, movie or the clip right about here I do it a few times in order to get the right position I know it's coming up so set show time right about here 
so a little bit back in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God okay so when I said and the word was God that's who I'm gonna go ahead and put set high time right there okay then I'm gonna go into the keyboard and press the insert key that's gonna send me to the next line I'm gonna hit control s on the keyboard and save my work this far and I'm gonna go to the second line of text and copy it back to subtitle workshop and I'm gonna paste it take out that extra space do the same here I believe we got extra space no extra space good okay so I'm gonna play it was in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was so right about here I'm gonna click set showtime it was in the beginning with God all things were made so I want to show he was in the beginning with God all things were made. go back a little bit beginning with God and stop and I'm gonna hit set high time okay I'm gonna control s to save the file I'm gonna hit insert and I go to the third line go to my text file or my document <clears throat> and I'm gonna paste it right here again no extra space so we're good and I'm gonna look for the starting point where it says all things were all things were made through him all things. Things were made. Go back a little bit and see how that comes out. With God, all things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Okay. And I'm going to set the um, end time, set high time. Okay. One more time, I'm going to hit insert. And I'm going to click on end subtitle. And we can delete this line here. Just hit delete. This very last line. Just hit delete. Control S. Save. Okay. So we can go back and watch the video. And see how the subtitles come out. perfect so we can hit stop we can also go here and save if you go to the folder where you save your text file let's see I don't think I selected a folder file save as Sub rip. Ah, it is right here. Sample project. 
Okay. So I did. Sample SRT. If you look at the text file, sample SRT, this is what it looks like. Um, it's going to have a number one, not the one I had in there in the beginning, but number one, it's going to have the show time and the end time. Number two, three, four, five, and so forth and so on. And beginning time, end time. Three, the same beginning time, end time. And that's basically it on the text file. Now, the way you play this out, you can close it. You can close this. We're going to go back into the file here. Okay, now we're going to go into VLC Media Player. And this is what it looks like um, with the subtitle added. So you can play it at the same time you play the video. Okay, so that's basically it. We have created a subtitle for the sample project file. Um, next time you want to play it with the subtitles, make sure you have the sample uh, video file and also the sample project in the same directory um, or whatever video you have and the sample uh, whatever just make sure that is named the same as the video the SRT file is named as the video and that's it that's a very simple process uh, sorry about my voice I have lost it it's been about a month two months now but I'm still here thank you for watching